viewers and welcome to BQ Prime. This is Rishabh Bhatnagar and you're watching Startup Street. Uh, today I have uh, with me someone uh, who I can now call one of the youngest founders of a unicorn. Uh, we have uh, Adit Palecha with us. Uh, he is the co-founder and CEO of Zepto, <clears throat> the quick commerce company. Um, Adit, welcome to BQ Prime. Thank you. It's wonderful to be here. Thanks for having me. Uh, sure, Adit. Uh, could you start off by uh, telling our... <clears throat> sorry. Could you start off by telling our viewers a bit about the fundraise, uh, what uh, the valuation is now as, as well? Yeah, so we just raised uh, 200 million at a 1.4 billion dollar valuation. Uh, we brought on board some pretty incredible new investors, uh, the Stepstone Group, and you know Goodwater Capital. You know, two you know pretty well known, high quality uh, internet investors based out of the U.S. And yeah, we're feeling incredibly excited for the journey ahead. <clears throat> right, very interesting. Uh, could you also tell us a bit about what you'll do with the proceeds of this fundraise? And also, if this is uh, one of the last fundraises we'll see before Zepto uh, heads for an eventual uh, IPO? Yeah, that's the that's the aim, uh, Rishabh, for sure. And, you know, in terms of how we plan to use the capital, you know, the, you know, Carnot intuitively, we're actually going to take this capital and push harder towards profitability. The idea is, you know, we want to get to a bit of positive in the next uh, 12 to 15 months. We're on track to do that and continue growing the business at the same time. The reason why we raised this capital is because we were able to grow our business 300% year on year to a base of thousands of crores in annual sales. And now we're in a position where most of our you know, dark stores are fully profitable, generating cash on a fully loaded basis. And we've been able to do growth and profitability simultaneously. That's the plan for the next 12, 12 to 15 months as well. Grow the business, cross a billion dollars in sales in the next few quarters, and do it while hitting a beta positive by you know 12 to 15 months from now. So we're going to push hard towards profitability. The idea is, is to remain disciplined, remain uh, measured, avoid complacency, uh, and just keep pushing harder towards profitability. We're going to go deeper into our existing um, into our existing markets. You know, we're seeing a huge amount of potential there. I think you know most people really uh, underestimate how big this business is going to be, and we're seeing it going deeper and deeper into our markets without you know growth slowing down. And you know, with that in mind, we've you know, we've you know, decided just to go deeper into our existing markets and obviously expand a little bit into the uh, you know into new markets because we're only live in about seven cities today. Right. Uh... Uh, you you spoke about uh, profitability. That's so the milestone for EBITDA level pos, uh, pos, uh, profitability is about twelve to fifteen months. What's the uh, next milestone for overall profitability? What's the uh, range that we can expect? Yeah, look, I think in terms of you know you know for us the most important metric is is cash flow, uh, and we think we'll probably be operating cash flow positive uh, in that same zone twelve to fifteen months. So the company will be generating uh, cash by then. And you know we think Pat will probably be around, you know, not too far from that point as well. Uh, so all around that same sort of point to fifteen month zone, uh, we'll definitely be generating cash uh, as a company. That's the core objective. Right. Um, Adit, the the operating environment has been sort of tight to say the least uh, over the past year or so. Uh, yeah. Has that done to the way Zepto operates? That's a great question, uh, Rishabh. And look, I think we're actually fairly grateful to be operating in a bear market. Uh, you know, uh, and I'm sure you know Kevale, my co-founder, will attest to this. But you know, operating in a bear market with constraints, uh, you know, with the need to be you know frugal and disciplined, it's actually helped us become you know better entrepreneurs, take better decisions, uh, you know, higher quality, get more rigorous, and just sort of squeeze basis point by basis point as much leverage as we can uh, from the business. And we're just doing that in a uh, you know, vigorous fashion. And so, so yeah, I mean, I think, you know, of, you know, most of Zepto's life cycle has been built in a bear market and right? we're a 24 month old company. We've been around mainly in, in a bear market versus a bull market. Um, and that's just put us in a place where I think the DNA of the company now has, you know, frugality, fiscal discipline, rigor, um, and operational excellence deeply embedded into it. And I think that's going to last us for, for multiple decades. So, so yeah, our our DNA has has changed, and we're uh, we're now firmly in 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 the, the camp that we are in today. Uh, Adit, as a as a founder in the quick commerce space, uh, what do you make of the space? Do you think there is 
uh, enough room for about four to five major players in it, well-funded players in it, or do you see consolidation going ahead? Yeah, so I mean, to, be, to be candid, um, we won't really comment on competition. You know, we don't spend uh, as much time uh, thinking about competition. I think you know the way that we're looking at this this market is is genuinely massive. Uh, you know, we're building a business in grocery, right? So grocery is larger than all the other categories that e-commerce serves: fashion, electronics, furniture. You combine all those categories and you double it, and it's still not as big as grocery, right? And so grocery is is the mother of all categories. The the difficult part about grocery is that it's very very you know it's it's tough to make money. It requires a huge amount of operational excellence and discipline. Um, and, but if you execute well and you crack the economics, then you can build a massive business. And so you know our philosophy is fairly simple. Uh, you know we're gonna heads down, uh, be heads down, execute as thoroughly as we can, um, and you know build a better business, continue to grow the business, improve profitability, and most importantly, do it in a way that. That customers are happy and, and continue to love the product, um, but but yeah, I mean, and you know, if if our competitors execute well, they'll build a great business as well. They don't execute well, they won't build a great business. And the same is true for us. You know, if we execute well today, we could build a great business in the tens of billions of dollars. And if we don't execute well, uh, you know, we won't be able to get there. So that's our philosophy. Uh, we don't really have uh, much of a meaningful point of view on competition to be candid. Yeah, I think, uh, yeah, you're proving uh, wrong a lot of sales uh, of, I mean, a lot of people didn't believe in the quick commerce model initially, right? A lot of uh, members of the startup ecosystem are uh, still a little hesitant on saying that whether there exists a market for such a service. But yeah, you you are heading to, towards profitability, as we can all see. Um, lastly, Adit, uh, 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 Zepto is a major employer of gig workers, right? You are a major... Yeah economy are you at all in any sort of consultation with any government bodies be it local or central in terms of uh, regulations there because there is a lot to be done in terms of regulations in this space sure so look i think um it's a great question and you know fundamentally the way that we look at our delivery partners you know we look at them as the foundation of this business right we would not be here if it wasn't for for delivery partners doing the real work of the ground and all, all the folks that are on the ground, right? Our pickers, our packers, our delivery partners, uh, the folks in our distribution centers across the supply chain, right? Uh, they're the folks doing real work, um, and and you know they're the foundation of the company. And you know we don't think we can build a a, a long term sustainable business without you know having them win in the equation as well. Uh, there is no world where we you know we win and they don't win. Uh, that that equation just hasn't it, it just doesn't work out for us philosophically and so we try our best to be you know as um, as you know as you know generous with our delivery partners as we can and do it in a way that that respects not only their uh, you know not only their their role in you know Zepto's overall operation but their like dignity in work but yeah to give you a sense right on uh, you know the core question that you've asked. So we are obviously engaged with uh, you know the authorities through and through everything from everyone from the the police authorities locally to to local municipalities all the way to uh, you know in some cases uh, the central government as well. Um, we are not you know in a position where today we're seeing any deep dive specifically on 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 Zepto's model uh, because candidly it has worked out fairly well. Right, we haven't had a single large scale rider strike since our inception, um, which I think we're the only company in the country that hasn't had that. Um, and so, so far so good, but we're continuing to engage with the authorities and look in good faith, uh, if there's you know scope for us to improve, you know, we'd be more than happy to work with the government and any other authority to to continue to improve in a in a good faith way. And so so yeah, that's our endeavor. Right. Uh, very interesting stuff there, Adit. Uh, thanks, thanks so much for your time. Uh, congratulations on uh, turning Unicorn and the fundraise. Uh, we hope to see more from you. Thanks so much. Thank you. Wonderful being here. Thank you so much.